Hello everyone again, and welcome back to the Lunar Catastrophe, that is... Near its end, shall we say. Near its end. So, tonight I will be covering... Oh, thank you. Well, that was a useful text message. Too bad it didn't happen about three hours ago, but whatever. So, I've enjoyed the first three episodes of this Mega Wad. They've been incredibly fun. And. <clears throat> Definitely thinking of putting us up for a CAC Award nomination after this part. But this is the episode that I was warned about that might be a little longer than the others, a little more tricky than the others, and possibly not the greatest. But, well, we will see. <laughs> We will see if Miss Bubbles and Count 651 can transcend the tradition that episode 4 is a mixed bag and provide 9 awesome maps to play. Now we did say last time that the first two were going to be very difficult, just like in the Ultimate Doom. The first two maps are very difficult, then it's a stroll until map 6 and then it's reasonable from that point on and hello miss bubbles how you doing hello again john ready to get upset i apologize in advance for episode four. Oh my gosh the apologies are coming out in advance now i'm really scared of episode four no you apologize for this last time oh god how you doing miss bubbles it's, has this has the new week treated you well so far is it sunny where you are right now? It's actually quite nice and sunny outside. I've had a nice walk in it. <laughs> it was great. Wind was a little bit cold, but it was otherwise pretty pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. It's cloudy here. I had to go at our chickens out and I'm very tired. Chickens? You run a farm? Dang. Chickens! Chickens. We have some animals. All right, I see. That's awesome. You have lots of animals. You have chickens. You probably have. I'm guessing you have what? Cows, pigs, sheep, rabbits. Oh, it's just backyard chickens. Two goats. Hello, Alpha. How are you doing again? You are back in time. I am totally not storing out this a bit so people can show up <laughs> well at least one of the map is showing up <laughs> but they, well, they are the ones that truly need to be here to live to see this so that they can prepare the defense of anything i might be saying in the next three hours or so or how long this takes i mean i think so far each episode has taken about two hours and yeah i've been warned about this episode so maybe it'll take three or four I got plenty of time to spare tonight, so I'm ready. As long as it doesn't take like eight hours or something. Otherwise, I won't be ready and I'll have to do it in two parts, but I don't think it's going to be that long somehow. Just got a feeling. <clears throat> Are we going to be joined by. Um, it doesn't take that long, it's about to save or what. Oh, don't worry. I am very good at save scumming when required. I've not really felt the need to do that most in this wad so far. If anything, I've kicked myself once for not saving enough. But you'll know when I'm starting to get frustrated when the saves come like every time I round the corner. I am a horrendous save scummer. You should see me play an RPG. I hoard all the health pickups. I am incredibly defensive. When I need to be. You should have seen what Ezel wrote about me a couple of years ago as a playtester. I still wish I had that post that she made, actually. 
I'd like to use that as like an advertisement for... <laughs> That's a play tester to other people. But it was quite a few years now, I can't even remember what thread it was in. I know it was a time when I was being critiqued by others, but... All that is water under the bridge. Upset when you make a bad, upset when you make a hard map, then I just swear anyway. Maybe sometimes, but I've learnt a lot since those days. I've learnt a lot. Alright. Well, since Miss Bubbles is here, I guess we can start. So, here we are. Episode 4 of Winter Catastrophe. Is it going to end well? What comes after? Derek might have one way, they're not sure. Alright, well, be sure to prod him. If he's at work, he should be dashing home from work. Or pulling a sickie. Actually, maybe not. Just just watch the on-demand, Derek. I don't advocate people taking sick days off work to watch live streams. There's enough kids that do that in school. Well, here we are. Ziggurats. This was made by Derek. So here we go. The one-two punch. The V4. I don't know... Oh my god. He's asleep. Feel ready? And I'm ready! Oh no. Something tells me not to stay. Oh god. Oh god. Mouse, this would be a really good time for you to kind of cooperate. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, ah, what the hell? Oh, come on! For fuck's sake. I thought I had this licked. I think we're good now. Mouse, what are you doing? Whoa, what the? Hey. Oh, Jesus, get out the way. No, don't keep swarming in. God damn it. There we go. Alright, I think we have survived. Is, what is that little demon thing there? No. It's enough. Ow! Not appreciated. Again, all the headshots. Thank you, shotgun guy. Okay. Killed them all. No, we haven't killed them all yet. Oh my god. Alright, let's take a look at the level. Looks like we've actually been through most of it. Just seems things keep popping out of. Thanks to working around on the Doom World forums, it all people have power switch music. Well, I don't know why I'm saying this is a fun fact. Okay, finally. Good grief. There's a lot of shotguns. Oh, for God's sake, there's another fucking one still alive? Jesus Christ. Right. Still, like, another one or two still there. Go away. Also, go away. Right. You need to die. You need to die. You need to die. Okay. Now all the shotgunners are dead. Now we just have to deal with everything else. 
mainly the cacti demon. So they're just fucking stop getting in my. You wanna fucking get in my way, huh? There, fucking. You know in my way now, are you? Chooks. Okay. That's a nice secret. Right, now to kill these guys. Holy moly, that's a lot of... Okay, there's apparently something here, but it's not activating. Ah, that was what that secret was. Very nice. Okay, so now back to whatever happened over here. A whole bunch of stuff. Pain sector... Yeah. That happened. Oh god, am I gonna have to go into the blood? Hmm. Wait, I had a shotgun. Not for very long. Okay. Screw off, you. Jeez. It looks like I'm... What the fuck hit me? What the fuck? Oh god, I can hear more shotgunners. Where am I supposed to be going here? I can still hear really annoying shock. Okay, maybe down here is the solution. Maybe. Oh god, that seems to have made things worse. A lot, a lot worse. Let's pull back here. Okay, killing these imps will probably help as well. Then we can. We don't have to worry about the. Oh, those jerks. Where the fuck is this fucking shotgunner? There's a fucking shotgunner somewhere that I'm still not seeing. There he is. Fuck. Come here. Get the fuck in the sight. Fuck this. Come here. You little fucking shit. Where is he? Fuck you. Jesus fucking Christ. Come here, goddamn break. More of them. If there's not enough. No. 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 There. Gee, thanks for thanks fucking No. No. Finally. No. No! No! Just get the fuck off my planet. And you! Shut up. You're too noisy. And you! Alright, finally. Holy shit, this is the first level and it already feels like I'm playing a different board or some sort. I always don't know where that damn shotgun guy is now. He's a I also seem to know where to get a rad suit from, but I don't know how I'm gonna get it. Come on. Just... 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Imps, fuck off. Thank you. Come here, shotgun guy. I can see you. I can see you. I can see you. Please come here. No, not around the other way. Here. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fucking god. Oh, thanks for the whole state, Mac. Like, what is this little fucker? Finally. The most annoying shotgun in the history of the whole goddamn world has finally died. Holy shit. That's weird. Nothing is hitting, but its bullet fire is also hitting the top of the arc. That's strange. Ugh. All right. Well, I see there's some health kits and there's a rad suit. But the rad suit's all the way over in that corner. Hmm. All right, what's in here then? I doubt things are going to get better, so I'm gonna pull back and let them come out. Actually, if I stay here. I really could use some goddamn health. Yeah, right, I know that's not, right, that's not a trap. Oh, are you fucking serious? You want me to go around the open? Yeah, I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Alright, I need to take no damage. You or the other shotgun that's hiding in there. Cause I have Cause I have no health to really take damage. Great. And because of the C that's a guaranteed hit, but Alright, where was I? Jesus. Okay. Oh. Ah, two can play that. Oh shit, you little shit. Right. Oh god damn it. I didn't want to do that. I really did not want to do that. Because I wanted not a waste the ammo, thank you. What a tight enough stint as it is. There's no point in doing that because I can't even get out because you place these pillars in an asshole position anyway. Oh, hold on. As I say that, I can break out. Ha! Take that. In fact, I don't care if anything else to level up. I'm done. Oh, is that a Baron and another Baron? But their backs are turned. Ah, you thought I was going to trigger the Barons, but you were wrong. Yet. Yeah, you can get lost, creep. Okay, 
No more additional enemies appeared. Now then. I do kind of want to get whatever's behind these guys, though, so I'm gonna... Kind of hope the shotgun guys are all dead now. Oh, there's another. Okay, they're all gone. Great. God, this map is... Okay, there's no shortcuts in there. There's... Oh, um, no. I'm gonna have to do... I'm gonna have to do the thing with the barons, aren't I? Fuck. There's no way around it. I have to... Yeah, that's a little score. That's nice. I am gonna have to wait. Get the balance out of the way. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I don't have to. Uh, maybe I do. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to press all three, aren't I? I don't think I can avoid pressing just one of three. Okay. Wait, why are the... Huh? What the hell? You made a sector to blind them? What is this? Why is this a thing? He must have put them on a sector that what is death except for them. What? Yeah, okay, good. Get out the fucking room. Jesus Christ. Think about it too far in this E4 thing. I would have beat the original E4 by now. Hey, Dobu. Oh, great. I'm going to do the same with the other one as well. So I now got to dodge. That is not an easy thing to get out of, you know. Okay, get out of the room, Mr. Baron. Out. Come out. Where did one go, anyway? Just... But... Oh, my God. Why don't they just come out when I fucking punch? Yeah, good. Come out. Come out. Come out of the fucking room. Don't just stay in there. Come out. All the way out. Oh, the monster can open the door, then maybe I just wait for it to. What is it doing? Yeah, please do that. Like, there's no real place for you to go. Now, why don't you come over here and kill some cacodemons for me? You're like my drunken pet baron or something. Come on, Uncle. Let's go kill some cacodemons. No, don't go in there. That's the wrong way. This is where the party is. Come on. Come on now, Mr. Baron. That's it. Now, you see these cacos? They're really not very nice. They need to be taught a lesson. No, I'm not the target here. No. Those cacos are not your friends. Those cacos need to start fighting, shooting things. No, not me. Oh my god, will you please just fucking in fight already for the love of god? Oh, I'll press MDK. Fight each other. Cacta demons, what are you doing? You are also drunk. What are you doing? Thank you. But last. Right. Good. If that doesn't kill him, at least it keeps him busy. That's all that matters here. Right. Now the other one. Now you come out. Come out. Come out. Good boy. Out you come. Come on. No, no, don't go back in there. Come on. Come out. That's it. That's it. Come on. Your friend's over here. See? Your friend is over here. Now you go get distracted in a fight as well, and then we can proceed onwards. Because that means you'll be kept busy. 
Okay, good boy. That's it. Come on. That goes. Oh, for God's sake. It's actually going to keep him... I mean, he eventually will get tired, but... Not for a while. All right. Seriously. Fuck off. Right. No. Cacos, I'm over here. You have this thing called a mouth. Feel free to use it sometime, would you? I'm not... Uh, what are you doing? That's it. Almost. Oh. Damn it. It almost worked. I just need these... God, maybe you guys are more can be more useful here. No. That's it. This might be a bit better, actually. For God's sake. Well, it's a lot harder to dodge that metric. Hey. Cacos, what are you doing? Okay, this will be easier. Ugh. Jesus Christ. That's it. There. There we go. There we go. Good boys. Good, stupid, drunken barons who hide in a dark room all day. Oh, that ends the level. After all that build-up, I thought the level wasn't over. So, what the hell... You know what, I don't want to know what the optional fight was. This might not be the end, though. Because there's a good chance the next level is going to dick me over for like low health right now. It's entirely possible I might not be leaving just yet. Also, I must need to get away from the keyboard. What a hard first level that was. Jeez. Well, on to E4M2. Do I now regret having fuck all health? We'll see. Okay, well, this is your level, Miss Bubbles. Luckily, I was prepared for the dickishness that was... Looks like there was an extra fight in E4M1, but you know what? Someone else can play it. There was pain, but it's over now. But this level's not going to be any easier. Because... I have no real health or armor, and there's still a lot of hit scan around. And that's a problem. Big problem right now. You're in the way, sir. Seriously? There, I got him. I finally fucked him up. Okay, I need more health. There's another shotgunner on the right. I have no health still. And there are things right next to me trying to piss me off. There. Yeah, this is definitely hell. -y. Oasis is not Doom 2 where there'd be chain gunners. But the safe scumming is very strong on this level. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Gotcha. No, you don't need to go up there. I saw you. And you. Give me that. Get out of here. Stop moving around. Just, like, at all. Hello, Moti. Hello, 616. How you doing? Alright, I think... We're good now. We're good. E4M1 was, as expected, quite difficult, but we made it. Hmm. 
Oh. I don't want the looks of this. Oh no, this is gonna get messy. I knew to be a Baron. Well, not just a Baron. Many more things. Ugh. Ugh. This is not really great for me. Got him. Okay. Maybe I can make it out with 2% health. You can certainly make it out. Now what? Yes, I'm an E4. Uh. Oh. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, God, it's not over yet. Yay! A chain gun. And some more health. And thankfully, I killed all the. Things. It appears. Hang on a second. I'm missing a secret here. There's some secret shenanigans over here. Bring some new hex and now the V version is you do much speeded fix. Uh oh. Okay, well that secret was very helpful. Like, the most helpful. Now we have all the health. I think. You don't. Oh, wow. by things I can't see. Jeez. Get out of my fucking... Okay, enough. God damn. Nice. Fucking... All this hit scan. Take me back to dusk. Where well, hit scans don't exist. Yeah, Dusk had no hit scans whatsoever, yet everything was. Granted, though, Husk. Dusk? Husk? What the hell am I saying? Dusk did have those annoying rocket mamas, but they were rocket mamas. I'm doing this like everything that Dusk did. It was great! Yeah, I've heard a lot about version 4. Mr. Zool said apparently it also fixed the uh, uh, Kakademons being vertically realigned when they get hit by uh, feedback. Oh, he said it. What was it? He said they now have vanilla monster behavior where they just fly horizontally instead of being affected vertically by things or something like that. 
so. Oh man, that is. That's not just two caca demons. That's a lot worse. Oh god. Ah, 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 ah. Change the weapon. Change the weapon. Change the weapon. According to Mr. Zool, yes, they did. Oh no, I can hear more hit scan guys. Oh wait, they won't be up they'll be up here, won't they? How you doing? Is anything cool, boy? How you doing? Is there any way to upgrade GT2 without having to resell all the options? Man, what's that? Uh. I can go about just to get the. something back there, but I'm guessing it's a, a pain sector secret, which means I'm not going to be getting it. Alright, well, I still have no real health whatsoever, but I do have... I still don't really have any health. Well, that helps. <laughs> Backpack definitely helps. Uh, to answer your question, think what I don't actually know. I mean, it doesn't take that long to rechange the config, to be honest. So I don't really find it too much of an inconvenience. You get used to it after a while. I just wanted to update every single time. You know, I update my GZD maybe every couple of months. Usually when people mention it in the chat. <laughs> but I will be downloading version 4 after this ward, and I'll be using that going forward. So I quite like to see how the, um, the newer monster behavior in action. Well, yeah, you do always like to store your previous save files, but I that's why I don't play... That's why I, I play things just once, so it doesn't bother me clears up the save volume. <laughs> Alright, well that was uh, not as tricky map, but it still had a trickiness to it. But this was not as bad as E4M2 in the original Doom. Eternity. 
Don't let me gain puzzles. All right, this one was also done by Miss Bubbles, and this contains the secret map of the episode. Yes. I know, I noted it down. Oh no, E4M6 start. I swear to God, if you put a cyber demon in an awkward spot, Miss Bubbles, there will be rantings to be had. Oh God. That just means you definitely have. I mean, you've, you've already shown you're happy to throw the, you've taken the gloves off in this particular. You've already shown you've taken the gloves off in this episode. No more messing around. Wow, I really just took damage to it. That's a really nice little people. How many? Oh god, is there a bunch here as well? Jesus. There is. I think they're dead. <laughs> or whatever. But maybe not. Uh -huh. Well, we're not going in there just yet, anyway. We have to go down into the, the heated blood and try not to die horribly. Oh wait, is that a pain sector? Yes. Fucking specter in the way. Definitely 95 points in this ward. Hey, Spinzig, how you doing? There we go. Do we like these little? Oh, they're not mid textures. They're actually. Oh, that looks really nice. Really nice lighting here. I could just crouch, but I'm not going to do that. No crouching. Oh. I thought something would be coming immediately after me there. Showed some restraint. So I suppose I've got to ask, really, an interesting question, being that this is an episode four themed uh, episode four at this point. So. You, you obviously, since you're a big fan of this game, you're aware that Episode 4 was, you know, kind of not the most consistently best episode of any FPS ever, due to the fact that they weren't really giving it their all at these point. So, when taking inspiration from the um, this episode, did you find it difficult to kind of, you know, realise that, unlike the other three episodes, this one was a little... I'm, so, I'm asking something on the lines of being that episode 4 is very inconsistent in tone. How much of that were you, you know, what kind of stuff did you want to take away from uh, making levels based around E4, for instance, you know? But how much of the original lessons would you have been. That's a lot, game. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you, you weren't like going to say like make stick to the inconsistent difficulties. You were just gonna take the theming and. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. This is bad. Uh oh, the Kekos will be flying above this as well. That's the scary part. Yeah, I was afraid the Kaka was going to fly above the architecture a little bit here. Makes this a little harder to deal with. I agree with you there, you've got the E4 look down pretty well. Oh god. Shove that caco corpse out the way. I'm not trying to kill those bounds, I'm just trying to eliminate the hit scans. It's a lot of meat to get through. Hmm, two health. Whoa, that's a very thin. Like a wall. <laughs> Whee! Mm. God. How are we end it? Oh god, are they coming up the stairs? They're kind of stuck. I'll weave them that. I'll weave them in that shape, I think. One thing that you've done well throughout this squad is capture the feel of the original maps. Out that easily, then. Oh, my God, that is really wow, that was horrible. They're in the way of the final. Horrible. Oh. Uh, that 
might make things a bit easier. Wait, there's an exit here? Hmm, where are we at the moment? This could actually be really useful if I can make the most of it. Ah, uh, I can't see where I'm going. Okay, just run straight in the trap and go. Possibly one of the best God Spears boosts in the I've ever had. <sighs> Holy moly. It's enough out of you. Gecko. Oh god, now it's trying to go up. Mm, no, that's not quite what I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, I know what the secret is, but... Hmm... Hey, Reaper. We know what the secret is, but it looks like we need to... It's there, but I don't know how we get to it. Hmm... over here. So. I'm doing alright, Reaper. I'm doing alright. <sighs> okay. I'm just looking for the map. There's something off to the side there. There's something down here. Hang on, is that an actual drop down there? I can't tell. No, it's not, is it? not quite what we're looking for. Oh, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try something. No. That was dumb. Is there a way... Hmm... Okay, it's not down there. So I was 
eliminates one possibility. Still, how do we get to that? I mean, it's up there, but that's not going to help, is it? Or none of fort. Hmm. Maybe what I'm hearing is that other door. That's not going to help me anymore. Can I get out to that from the very start, I wonder? I'm going to go look. No. Try pressing some switches in a desperate panic. Hmm. Hold up a minute. Oh no, that's just where the monsters were. I don't think there's anything in that pit. Shit. This is. I need to. I, I think I need to get out right here somehow. I need to get out to this place, but there doesn't seem to be a way of doing it. But like I said, yellow... Hmm. It's going to be something to do with wallowing this wall, isn't it? Wait, that is the exit. What the hell am I doing? That is actually the area I was in. Oh, so the thing I'm trying to get to is not what I'm looking for. I'm trying to find the um, secret. I might need a hint, yes. Wow, got okay there. Huh? There is a switch you've seen in a room you've been to. You need to hit it. Switch I've seen in a room I've been to. I thought it might be something like there's a skull switch here among these skulls. Oh, my God. 
Hit the switch that you don't think you should hit. There we go. Wee. Yeah, I'll say sneaky. All right, and with that, I can officially get rid of my secret map file. <laughs> now I just have a file for mapping credits. Jesus saves! Hey AMD Crash Drive, how you doing? Welcome to E4 of Winter Catastrophe. Well this map was very nice. It was I really like the architecture in the castle. Taken. Oh god, I'm gonna fight William Neeson, am I? This is the last co-op map that was done with both the mappers, Miss Bubbles and Count 651. The last co-op map. Oh, this is a bit weird. Whoa. We've got a bit of fire blue, lava walls, tech base. But yeah, how you doing, AMD Crash Drive? Has Monday treat you well? Hmm, this is a very quiet start. Oh hey, I got a rocket launcher now. That's nice. Is that some armor? I'll keep hold of that for now, actually. This is a bit odd, man. This seems to be going to sort of, like, back to E2 or something. There's a very E2 feel about this map. <laughs> Thank you. 
Does it feel eerily familiar? Does it feel familiar? Uh, from E2? Wait, why is it... What, whoa, what the fuck? There's four barons now? Um, not really. Nothing's immediately coming out of the page at me, but... I can't place this Miss Bubbles at the moment. Episode one. It's the first map. That's point why. Oh, I see. It's a remake of the first map. It's been corrupted since you were last here. Oh shit. Yeah, that's probably why. I mean, E1 style maps. It's the first map. I'm not going to tell them that every single map is bubbles. <laughs> Nice bookend from 
Back to the start of a creepy twist. Everything is now corrupted. Well, it's an interesting idea. <laughs> I guess some people will notice it quicker than I did. Tells me this is not the exit. Um, maybe. Uh -oh. Okay then. That's a cyber demon. That's not a good thing. Oh god. Um, I didn't get the BFG. This is not gonna help. Take that, you pest. Uh oh. Anything on the back? Nope. Surprisingly, we know. through here now though just help How is corruption? So a camel. Oh, go through there. Right. And I guess it's a BFG, but I can't get that. I'm not skilled. So, how was the mapping? I forgot to ask actually, since this is the last co op map, which was. Uh, how much of the map did you both do each this time around for the final one? Well, it was like the mapping contribution split. <laughs> On this occasion. On that one, you created E1 and one one then they took that kind of change textures and architecture and place new monsters and items. But I think I tweaked a few things like the exit room to the cyber demon fight. Cool. Yurigiet. Yurigate. This one is done by uh, Derek. I'll count 651. Yogurt. Yeah, the nomic yogurt is spelt like this.
Hey, here it is. How's E4 been so far? Well, I got very upset at map one. And I finally managed to pull it around by the mostly the end of map two. Wow, I don't, I don't think I had it actually needed to go back there, really. I'll open that up. Guess that's something. Ooh, that suit. That sounds nice. Now I can go exploring into the lava. I need to discover there's nothing. Go here though. Oh my god. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <sighs> Good thing I noticed the teleport. Oh no, this is the E3M6. DOE. Well, it's the E3M6 teleport thing anyway. Maybe. Hey, Bash. Good luck. Oh, maybe it's not. They all seem to come round. Uh, perhaps I was wrong. I pressed the button. Oh no. Confirmed that tomorrow's reactor being shot the same way. It was something to do with vertical verticality when they were shot back though, apparently it changed. Oh crap. <laughs> turns into like a scooby-doo thing where's the biggie where's the biggie going <laughs> ah. oh man yoinks 
Maybe. Yeah, I think that's what Mr. Zul said is apparently fixed now. They something about vanilla monster behavior in the new GZ Doom. This part hurt me to play. Oh my god, there's another. I think this is worth having the extra rockets from the secret level. Help. Uh. Well, then get more of that rad soupy stuff, but... Hmm. No, I don't think he said about that. I think he said just in terms of uh, going... Whoa, there's a bounce over here, yeah, shit. Vertically, when going back, was his problem. Hey, if Mr. Zul comes on later on, you can ask him. Got it. Hmm. I wonder if those enemies were meant to be death there or not. Helpful. We got the red suit at the same time. Might be able to go for all three. Yeah, okay, that's not going to be possible actually. By the time I get the red suit. Hmm. You know what? No, I'm going to save that for now in case I need to use it later for something more critical. Let's just continue the level. Was incredibly dickish. Okay. The 7% clutch. That was possibly the most evil thing I've seen in the whole war. Wow, thanks. I really wanted to not grab that stim pack. <sighs> Hello. I, hey, I may I broke out, so it's not too bad. Jesus Christ, that is disgusting. I mean. Yeah, sure, there's rockets, but that was like... Oh wow, and that just blew up everything. 
I didn't actually... Oh yeah, I should remember it's a fucking diagonal teleport, so of course it's going to be a teleport. Hope. Alright, now we got the big bat. Okay, I can save normally now since we survived that 7% event. Alright, this cyber could be a problem. Not least because there isn't really a effective close range area to find him in here. Really, it's going to be very awkward to deal with this cyber. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is just... Ugh. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Here we see the cyber demon in his native environment. Mr. Zoo. No, I don't have a BFG. There was one on the secret level, but I didn't get it. So, Mr. Zoo, you were, you mentioned earlier about the vertical enemies, cacodemons aren't flying vertically in the new Jizzy Doom. Wow. Pump setting. Oh, I see. It's a comp setting. Yes. No, I said it was for vertical. I'll definitely be updating to version 4 after this ward to chest out for myself. It will be interesting to see how it plays out for some battles. <laughs> really. Crap, I've put 40 shotgun bolts in there. <sighs> Finally. At last, he falls. I got, I got all the shells, so I can afford to do that. There was another top doom we've forgotten to follow though. Fall to make up Uh Nivanos Emily Ankagon Uh 42% health Dying Camel I think we're good to continue now. Oh man, oops. Uh oh. Whoa, ow. Are you fucking serious, bro? 
Oh, more balance. Oh boy. time with all these shotguns. Oh god, I... This is savable, but... Twitch can't fight him. No, it's a double A. Hey, wish for Sam, how's it going? Hey, Benjo. Oh my god, I have the wrong weapon for this fight, clearly. What am I getting fucking stuck on there? Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Fine. Eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this, eat that. There we go. Fucking hell. Murdered them all. I don't really want to use the plasma, but. Oh no, I'm not leaving with fucking 30% health. Forget it. I want. I want more. <laughs> I would like to get a good chunk of my shit back, <laughs> if possible. I think I will be able to, actually, as well. There is still a rad suit I need to collect. I can get back a lot of stuff with it. If I grab it. That's the one, thanks. Oh, Nirvana, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I need to obviously... Ah shit, where's the thing with the switch on it that has the... Oh man, how do I... Get that armor. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? There we go, that's one. And that's for the rocket launcher. And then is this the one with the chain gun on it? Yes. I do want to grab that just for the extra chain gun ammo. I'm not really fussed about the other one because it's only a shotgun. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Hang on, hang on. You can get fucked. I'm not having you. Okay. Now I'm more happy. <laughs> There we go. Hold them down. There you go. Need some good Doom Entertainment. I've been playing it for a while to stay focused on Donkey Kong World Records. Oh wow, you're actually competing for the King of Kong? How close are you to the... Off the world record? Yeah, Danny Bubinga has decided to start streaming and he's doing some co-op stuff with Vivix. I wonder if they're getting in the mood for making something in the near future. I won't be surprised if they were announcing something later on. I mean, hell, everything else is being announced this year. We've had Protonia 3 this month. I won't be surprised if Danny Bubinga and Ribbix were suddenly going to announce Sunwars 2 or something. Or... Go fuck yourself even more. <laughs> and that's the name of the map. The dude that cheered and lied to everyone. You're a good player, but just starting. Alright, well, Eurogate was... I guess this was the E4M6 equivalent, right? Have I ever told you what the definition of this map name is? Well, this is also done by Derek. Ow. Oh my god, this is not a fun start. Oh, 
Holy moly. Thank God I started this map with 100 plus health. Cut off you, buddy. Okay. Oh, come on. How many of these fucking balance are there? Get out. Out. Where's the bad suit? Holy crap, this is... Oh my god, no. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Will you please just die? Oh, we mow episode 4 has been a boy. Please fall. Please fall. Thank you. We made that. Oh, there's some good stuff down there, but my bad suit ran out, so I'm not getting it now. Fortunately. <sighs> oh, come on. More hit scans. Ugh. You can't tease me that kind of stuff without no bad suit to use it with. Okay, just run straight through. Can you please just fucking give me the fucking chain? There. Please die. Thanks. Your misery pleases me. Whoa. That was very painful. Wow, I am really glad I didn't start this level with any with the super Does there really have to be a fucking... So hey, Bunny, I can only have seen you around before. What? Why do I hear more things? Oh, come on! Now oh, screw this, they're gonna, they're gonna come out one at a time. <laughs> Kiss your personal sway. Okay, yeah. This is just annoying. I. Just... Oh, 
God mighty. The definition of insanity is making this so damn hard. Fuck me. Is that all the hit scans killed? I think that's all the hit scans killed. I think. Yeah, all the hit scans are dead. Merciful. Hey, take a robot. That was a good one, by the way. There we go. Okay. Oh god, hit scans. I don't actually know where they are at the moment. Where the f Aha! Ah, no you don't. Not this time. No. 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 Damn health. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Wow. This one just went... Well, I'm sorry, but this... Ah, wait a minute, actually. What am I doing? I'm doing the... I can do this very reasonable. Kind of sort of... Not that. Okay, I can handle this if I'm patient. But now we're having to be a lot more patient. Interesting setup of teleports there, mind you. Having some different W1s for each of the balance. Okay. So that's one down. Two left to go. Why am I hearing another teleport? The fuck? But the... Ah, there we go. Hell yeah. Maybe I should pick that up after though. <sighs> Nah, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Oh, I'm Italian, I'm the Suburban Boy 94. God. I've had enough of you. Okay. Do I want to pick... Yeah, screw it. I'll pick up the red suit. Okay, red key, red key, red key. Where the... F Wait, what am I... Oh, yeah, now I can get some stuff from down here. It's pretty sweet, actually. It's pretty heckin' sweet. Oh, God. Do I want to go back out here for anything? Uh, I guess that. The mainstream quality destroyer. Fire blue, my eyes. My favor.
Firebird was one of the map faker's favorite feats. He even said it himself. Where is the... Oh, it's there. You fought it to a fire blue. I used a lot of it in my ward. I just know it's all English. Yes, it was two people. It was Count 651 and Miss Bubbles. This map was made by Derek, who, uh... Christ... E4 is being very harsh and very brutal. And do I have to start with the Fribble Balance? Oh, God, these maps are difficult. This map's also by Derek. Sanctuary. I suppose like episode four is meant to be hard though, right? I have certainly safe scummed the shit out of E4 so far. This one's more of a break map. Is that why it's called Sanctuary by any chance? <laughs> the sanctuary from all the dickishness you've been throwing at us for the last couple of months. That's an apology out for the last one. I'm sorry for being evil. Please take this sanctuary. Another Death Baron. <laughs> Definitely makes me glad that I am um, saved this for its own part, this episode. You people are all right. Episode 4 is the hardest and therefore longest episode. The detailing throughout this ward still remains very much pretty good though, even in E4. I am still impressed with how we've gone about with this, uh... with the detailing side of things in this, with this ward. He thought this was one of his better ones, aesthetically. Map's called Sanctuary. <laughs> no horseshoes here. Another chainsaw. It's weird. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, what?
Ah, pipe down. Or whatever. Yeah, that would be pretty, uh... Very dinkish setups in this episode. <laughs> That's for sure. This has been harder than the old, original Ultimate Doom at this point. Mostly without feeling inconsistent. All this stuff has felt very much a part of the package of this episode. Hmm. Can I use that to go on there? No. Thought maybe I could, but no. My health stays ain't great, but. Try not to use the Zerker. <laughs> Armor too readily. Hang on, that button's stuck in the pit, isn't he? this guy out first, I think. Yeah, I'll tell you that for now. 
But now I have been impressed with the um, how it does feel like Ultimate Doom, but there have been plenty of occasions when you have shown um, your own take on things. Is it time to go in the radiation now? Possibly. Uh, looks like it. Oh man, there's another rad suit I could pick up that's a little quicker than that one. Alright, let's just grab it. Be done with it. Charge your twenty ninety three. Yep, Pepsi Man again. You are now the golden bit bitch for the time being for this week. <laughs> Relishing it. That's a nice secret. Um, I guess the worst. Uh oh! 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 God! No! No! Oh god, this is bad. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, and get out the way. That was way. I got all the fucking health and I had to sit in a corner. Fuck everything. We, we can't have nice things. Going all right. E4 is hard. A real, the real jump of difficulty is present here. There are no nice things. It's just imagine you coming home after a hard day of work and you're like, I fucking hate everything. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a map that reflects my frustrations. And you pound out all the ambush and you go, ha ha, I'm gonna have the cackles here and the barons there. <laughs> it's all a message. I am angry. <laughs> Is it room? Nah, it's just a light switch. I stumped my toe again in the garage. Copy paste all the khaki demons. Copy paste the barren ambushes. All the triggers. Has a bad day at work. He comes home and he starts mapping furiously. Oh shit, am I gonna have to do some more bad suit shenanigans here? Oh god, this will be. Really bad. Fuck this. Not this time, boy. <laughs> I'm taking my leave. Oh man, there was some armor back there too. And now I can't really go and get it because I'd have to lose all my health just to get back well whatever we I think I think we have earned the right to leave this level so we'll, we'll tell for that step on a wego time to make a map the monster count <laughs> oh this is a nice little exit backdrop that's nice No, I think sort of once we conceptualize when the Kasari brothers started making them. Sort 
sort of maps are like a more organized version of that anger. It's like a bitter, um, I don't know, a grudge against the neighbor next door or something that's festered over years and years. And then you just like, you know what, today I'm gonna make a map where everyone dies. And that's what sword of mapping is. It's like concentrated, focused rage. These kind of maps are just like, I stubbed a toe, I had a bad day at work. Hey there, how are you, Pierre? How's it going? Well, it's argued that the Kasari brothers actually made some early Swarter maps before Plutonia. I actually do have three maps they made that were around 95 and 96 that were like a, arguably one of the prototypes for what is commonly associated as the Swarter map. I may try and play them sometime. Maybe an interesting little thing. I don't know how I pick up these things. I just randomly collect Doom Wards. So I are made by the Sith. Possibly. But then that means about a good five or six people in this chat are Sith since they are <coughs> Swarder Mappers. Oh, hi there, Jogami. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Benjo is one of these people. He makes evil slaughter maps. This is forgotten. Oh, God. What the? Mouse, this is not a time for you to act dog. Please get out of the way. Please get out of the way. Please get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, this map's horrible. Oh, you f oh, wait, I didn't save, did I? Whoops. Get out of the way, please. Okay, I can handle this. Just need to kill all these jerks. God, I fucking made it. Holy shit, that was a really evil. Also, this map was made by Miss Bubbles. So. Yeah, that would that would that made me snap a little bit. I'm sorry you all had to see that. Oh, don't pick up the 25% health. Okay. I think bomb rushing with the chain gun was the correct decision there. Yeah?
That was like a that was like a something that, that reminded me of Cannonball's Five Draft Excluder, where you start out by having to do something like so I'm like, what in the name of Vi Draft Excluder am I suddenly playing? There you go. You have a seat. Oh boy, there's a Baron. Not for long though, ain't I think I might have to go on this. the easiest thing to do, especially in Ultimate Doom. No, I'm pulling back. But the was... I've been flanked so many times in this episode. Like, so many times. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, are you done now? Oh, great, it fell off. Really careful, yep. Owing to the... Now on us a little wet. Okay, I think we made it. I really don't... Okay. Vanilla style maps look strange with SSO no one here. I have completely spent all my plasma at this point. Someone tell me to put that on. <laughs> See, it looks nice. I'm getting I should disable it. Oh my god, this is so speed, I can't get it. Where am I now? Oh, in the same area, just... Second one I want to fall into, not the first. Ow, 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 what the fuck? Holy crap. so much time now, although I might not need a bad suit for anything else, to be fair. So that should be fine. Okay. 
Again, a bit too dark again. <laughs> Ow, my everything. Just her face in the darkness. Currently quarter past eight. <laughs> Just gone quarter past eight. We got a lot brighter nights now as of late. That and with the time going forward an hour. What's this the door? Oh yeah, here we are. This is where it's supposed to be. Let me just. And the white goggles. White goggles equipped. I'm now ready for the dangers ahead, I think. teleport shenanigans just yet, but an area that does not want pleasant. Feel free to just say when my webcam's getting too dark and I'll just put some lights on. Take your little fucker. That's when I was waiting to get out. There's another shotgun up. Gotcha.
That was like an African outdoor. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the only thing, the only slight thing I would say is that there's a couple of texture misalignments here and there, but apart from that, the detail in this world has been quite good. Very vanilla based, very original stuff coming through. I'm generally very impressed. It's, it's not been dull, there's been a lot of cool original stuff you've done with vanilla kind of things. I did not notice that specter whatsoever. I swear I'm not drunk. I swear it. Oh god, now it really starts. No! Fuck, there's a baron here. In the worst spot possible. Okay, good. I had enough health to kill that. Ah, now this is where I'm glad I've killed those outside now. Now what I'm going to do is try to whittle these cackles down very, very slowly. Without taking too much damage. Come on, seriously, stop going down. I have put shots into all of you. <sighs> oh, no, you don't. You're not getting me now. Hello, MKOS324. Me too. It's a pain when you're in your element. <laughs> you're so very funny, Miss Bubbles. Oh. Bong, not a secret, apparently. I do appreciate the plasma. I have a feeling I'm going to need it final level when we get there okay this looks familiar oh shit I don't have the red skill key Now I do. Oh god. Oh, just a one? Okay. What? What? Your skill is not enough to possess the red. Um, what? Tch. Holy crap, a horde of barons. Oh, I'll get them all right. I'll get them surfed over. That would have been a lot more difficult with the uh, infinite height enabled, but with it disabled, I only have to surf over them. Although I think I managed to do it even without. Let me just see. I know this is the last level. Let me just do something real quick. Just for one. What is it? Thank you. 
yeah, you see there it works as intended, where... Yeah, with infinite height, this is obviously a lot more difficult to pull off. Without, it's not too hard. Actually, this looks like there's room for two to go on there, and then the others get stuck. just be tedious so if it's infinite height this works pretty well without I just crowd surf and have no regrets because The joke about the skill key made me think about making that with a laughing sort of deterred by skill. Or more specifically ridiculous. You know, there was that one map I played several years ago where each difficulty setting was its own sort of fight. Mind you, I, 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 it, was, it was a very odd map, and I can't remember who made it, but every difficulty level had a different experience of the map. The map changed dramatically based on what difficulty you played it on. So that'll be interesting to see, Albert. Alright, last map. This is Ascension. And this was made by Derek. So what we're going to get for a finale? Well, we're getting a spider mastermind, I'd imagine. Or are we? Hmm. We shall see. I think you can have something else in mind. I suspect. have argued that maybe you didn't need four barons in that final step down. Maybe three would have been enough, but it's a pretty interesting way to have them parade out of the exit like that, though. You do not often see that as a blockade for an exit.
Uh oh. Well, I've still got 140 plasma left for the time being. You came up with an interesting idea yesterday, coming to think to it, Al, but you had that idea of the gradual pain sector, forcing the player to move around a lot. Don't be just appearing right next to me like that. I still think that should be your toppest priority. Alright then, Alpha, thank you for tuning in. Have a nice sleep, and I'll uh, see you around. Are we supposed to do that? I wonder. I'll keep that armor in mind. The hell? The fuck is hitting me? Hang on. Oh, that is weird. I'm hearing enemies. I don't know where they are, though. Cannot walk for the cubes anymore. Oh well. Yeah, 
mouse there, you sneaky bird. I think we can hide any more of the fact we're gonna have to go into that rad sector area. Let's get down there. Good thing I've killed those balance. Uh, Kako, I mean. Picking up that armor might not be the worst. I hear a cyber demon and a mastermind. Oh my god, you put both of them on the map at the same time. That is evil. Taking any damage from the crushes? I don't think he is. This is not good. Okay. What do I deal with first? You guys aren't helping. Seriously, bro? Seriously? 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 I think we deal with the uh, cyber first. There. Oh shit, I need a rad suit. I stay out here. Okay. Really need the cyber to come out. Oh my god. Get out. Get out here. Come out. Come out, please. Oh fucking hell. This is disgusting. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so goddamn much. I've run out of good ammo to kill them with as well. Is there not another way of doing this? Oh god, I have no plasma left to kill this thing. Hmm. 
No, this is this is not fun. This is all fucking nasty. Get the fuck out the way, you fucking jerk. Go up, go up. Okay, fuck it. Just gonna focus like hell on the goddamn fucking spider and hope it dies very quickly at some point. Okay. I think the spider is the one that has to die first, or if any of them. Just have to kill the spider. Maybe the cyber is just a really awkward distraction. You have got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Oh wait, no, I don't I was right. My cook gives the list for Get in there. The cyber was just a distraction. <laughs> Annoyance is a strong motivation and fuel for hatred. Hey, go no. <sighs> I just had a feeling that the um, the cyber demon didn't need to be killed there. Just the spider. I was right. It's just barely got out though. Looks like the evil spider queen's bit sister took over in way of her sibling's violent demise. No matter for you, she died screaming just like her predecessor. As you escape the visceral wreckage of this twisted place, you find yourself finally given a moment's respite. Gazing out into the smoke and fire-choked horizon, the sun sets over a war-torn earth. Clutching your shotgun, you set out for the nearest herd of demons in desperate need of an ass-kicking. To be continued! Derek, what the fuck, yo? Well, it's an interesting combination. Teleporting Cyber Demon to essentially blow you off the platform and it doesn't come out. The Crusher blocks. And what, there's Daisy. Yeah, definitely a huge bully. I had a feeling you were going to use both the boss monsters for the finale, but I didn't expect something like that. Well, there's the episode four picture. Damn, the shotgun looks pretty awesome in this shot, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll say. Hey, yeah, it looks like you did, Fuzzball. <laughs> you could always watch the on demand to see how I struggled for the rest of episode four. Yeah. I definitely think it helps to have knowledge of E4 there, because to know to focus on the spider over the cyber demon in that case, it's a really evil setup, really. Plus it would have been a little more evil if the cyber was able to teleport outside of its little blockade, but its purpose is to just be a pest. Kind of an unusual occurrence, actually. Where a cyber demon essentially acts as a blocking factor for another boss monster. I've seen cybers act as blockades for icons, and I've seen cybers act as blockades for exits, but I've never seen one blockade and be part of a complementary pest to the spider. Very interesting setup. Very evil, but in fitting with the rest of E4. For sure. This was definitely the hardest episode of the whole lot. You weren't kidding. This was difficult. But... I guess that's what you wanted to go for, right? You wanted to up the difficulty quite high for the final... episode, and you achieved that. Ah... You are both mean and horrible people. Well, maybe not actually, since you both follow this channel. <laughs> That's going to be it now. Unfollowed, reported.
banned for hate speech. Um, yeah, Derek, it's all your fault. <laughs> oh, God. When I, uh, what do you all think of episode four, then? Um, I thought that, uh, you know, still very well made. I, I, again, the um, you put your own spins on things. I will admit, though, you did not have an E4M6. Well, you kind of had an E4M6 bit, but you didn't have the ultra-annoying cyber of E4M6. And you didn't have an E4M2, but you had several other points where you had to dash through things. Trying to get the pitchforks. Get it made good. Pitchfork them. Put pitchfork these mappers. And there's the noon slash potato. But I generally felt, again, the quality was really evident there. The car kind of design was pretty decent. It was evil, but not unfair. I don't think. You certainly made me run through a couple of levels. Um, but I can't say that the quality ever really dipped. It just got harder. But I was warned about this difficulty jump, so it's not as bad as it would have been if I'd just gone in, oh, well, what's episode four going to do? And I throw a hit fit and start flinging whatever. But, uh... I'm glad to hear that episode four is where it's supposed to be hard, I guess, and you can turn some people. Well, you certainly achieved that to jump, but... For those who aren't given the warning, I guess <laughs> I hope they can handle it. But that's that uh, that was as intended. And then for those familiar with Ultimate Doom, I guess it shouldn't entirely be surprising that E4 is the harder episode. But as a whole, what can I say about this project? Um, I could generally say that. Aside from a few minor texture misalignments, which could be fixed, um, generally the texture variety and level design was pretty decent throughout the whole ward. I don't really think I had much of a legitimate complaint about the uh, level design as a whole while playing this. It was a lot of creative and interesting Ultimate Doom 1 fights with vanilla a vanilla style to it you know it never felt like it was too much going to just be oh just another remake of uh, x map you took you probably you, you took parts of what worked from those maps but you made it your own with having stuff like triangular teleporters a lot of different Almost at times felt like you had played other wards and been inspired by them in part. You know, I saw like a bit of a skill saw in one part. I've seen uh, my more modern fight design in places. But, you know, you, you basically made an interesting to play uh, Ultimate Doom map set, despite not having a lot of experience with making Doom things. Although you did say you make Quake stuff. I was just here, you'd have to ask about it about more because I've barely played in it. However, yeah, perhaps Derek having more, or I'll count 651 having more experience might have played into some of the maps on this, but you can pick things up country over time. Well, I certainly know that if you play enough Doom watch, you do pick up inspiration from other mappers. You see that a lot with a lot of wards by various mappers from the new ones to the professionals. Professional do mappers, God, is that a thing? Probably not. They all borrow bits from each other sometimes and then put their own thing on it to make it their own. Yeah, I've played hundreds of wards, so I've played some kind of we inspired. I could probably, I can definitely tell there was some modern ward inspiration in part. But at the same time, there was a couple of things, you know, texture choices were interesting. The, the triangular teleports. I haven't seen that many triangular teleports before. But I still can't help thinking that's something from the original Doom somewhere. 
<laughs> the only professional now is Dragonfly and essentially to God as the hired Kickstarter mapper. Yeah, he got his Proteus call up. Oh, that's why I made the Twitter saying it's only a matter of time before Dobu and Pinchy get theirs, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I was definitely right to pick this out as a a thing to play among a couple of other things that were happening in Doom World. Um, Ultimate Doom Wards aren't easy to do. Uh, to begin with and you've approached this in a way that has just worked you know it's been fun to play even in the more frustrating spots it's been fun to play you know I got through it and I, I have generally been quite impressed with this mega wad and I, I think I am going to be recommending this for a CAC award nomination because there's always, as I said last time, there's always something on there that has a vanilla lean to it. You know, there's always something where someone makes something that's very vanilla or very like old school mapping and it gets up there. And for me, this, I think, deserves to be at least considered for a CAC award this year. I don't know if anyone else would agree with that if you've played other things, but I think for the fact this is two mappers, we don't know what we who haven't done much have combined to make an ultimate doom mega wad that has genuinely been fun to play even within episode four so i'm going to put this as a cack award nomination as soon as this stream's over and it's been great to have you both here to comment on stuff and things um i hope I would say I hope you're going to make some more maps, but you've already told me you have maps in mind. You're going to make some more stuff in the future. So I'll definitely look forward to any further things that you make. I see some a lot of potential from the pair of you, and who knows, maybe it can be like the next big thing. Maybe it'll be the unique boyfriend-girlfriend duo that go around and make maps and everyone enjoys them. Thank you for playing your channel. I was glad to talk about it. Yeah, I always it's always more fun to play maps when the mappers themselves are around. That's something I really enjoy doing. So this so that's it. This is this was the last Doom Diversion. Next time around, I'm gonna be playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, which you've helped donate towards. So we'll definitely be playing that next time. And I will be focusing on that for a bit, so don't groan too wildly. There may not be a lot of doom for a little bit. Although, I will be playing the Iron Mans. It just depends how long Resident Evil 2 takes. Really. But, yeah. Maybe I'll even do a playtest session, but I'm going to be playing Resident Evil 2 Remake next. So, don't know when that will be. Um, but it will be when it is. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, thanks to Miss Bubbles and Count651 for making this megawatt. I hope you all play it. <laughs> if you've liked what you've seen on the stream, I recommend you go and download it and give it a try. It's pretty fun. And I'll catch you all next time for either some RuneScape or Resident Evil 2 Remake. Ooh. Zombies.